hey everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video i haven't sat in this position in quite a long time because as you know i pre-film all my videos so i it's, it's the first time in a long time that i've been sitting in this chair sitting in this chair um but if i'm a little bit chirpy if i'm a little bit over the place and all of that just excuse me but anyway this video is for the book lovers i think you can already tell there's going to be a lot of books in this video some of which i've already read one i am currently reading and the others i haven't read i'm, I'm going to try and get through the others give or take in the next two to three months or just for the remainder of the year really um so this is going to be a essential tbr what's in my latest tbr but i'm going to start the video off by showing you the books that i have already read i will be doing a wrap-up video so i won't go into too much details about the detail about the books that i already have read but you'll see that in the wrap-up video if you want to see the wrap-up video you know what to do comment down below and let me know so yeah before we dilly dally let's get into it because i have a lot of books to get through let's get started the first three books that i'm going to show you are books that i've already read i loved these books well one i really really loved and then the other two i huh, uh, i'll tell you all about that in the wrap-up video so i'm going to give you a little bit of a synopsis of each and every book and a really tiny one because there's a lot of books to get through but yeah let's get into it so the first book is this one this is ruth wears the turn of the key um i read this it, it's a thriller it was a great book i really really enjoyed this book this one really really lived up to the thriller name um this basically follows a young woman by the name of rowan who you know she she sort of wants to start a new life she lives with a friend of hers and um, she wants to get a new job and all of that until she runs into an ad in the newspapers of this really wealthy family that is looking for a live-in nanny and she applies for the position she gets the position but really really weird things start happening as soon as she moves in with the family and um the family with the three kids strange things happen and basically one of the children dies and the nanny is blamed for it rowan is blamed for it so essentially the book is um rowan writing letters to a barrister or a lawyer or an advocate i don't know but she writes um the letters to him so that he can hopefully take her case and where she wants to you know tell her side of the story because everybody thinks she killed the baby and she wants to tell her side of the story so really really loved this book I, i'm just gonna say it i really enjoyed this book and then the next book i read after that is the yearning this is the yearning by mohale mashekho this is a south african author and i enjoyed this book i really enjoyed it i have a very personal connection to this book essentially this book follows the story of a young woman by the name of marubini and it follows her life um the the, the book takes on two time spans where it's marubini's current life and you know when she thinks back to things that have happened in her past um Essentially, it follows her life and her spiritual calling and her journey towards her spiritual calling, towards listening to it, and the things that happened in her past that kept on creeping up as she was getting all these, these things that were happening to her. I have a very deep and personal connection with this book, but the book, nevertheless, I enjoyed. I really enjoyed. Um... Definitely a book that I suggest that you pick up. Not too much of a plot with this one. A bit of a slow read. There was nothing that really popped up. But I enjoyed it nevertheless. The next book is Queenie. Now if you follow me on my channel. You will know I spoke about this book in one of my recent vlogs. And I gave a full on synopsis of this book. So you might already know by the time you see this video. What happens in this book um wasn't too crazy about this book this essentially follows the life of queenie and follows her life 
over a period of about three years and it starts off with her having gone through a breakup with her white boyfriend queenie is black uh british jamaican jamaican british and um it follows her life and what happens and the events that unfolds in this time while she thinks that her and her boyfriend are on a break um very self-loathing self-deprecating uh, i wasn't too much of a fan of the book but definitely if you're somebody who wants to try it out of course i advise you'll definitely do um it was okay the book that I am currently reading is this one. This is Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. Now, I am literally maybe a quarter of a way through the book. I started the book actually yesterday. It is so well written. It is written in verse. It almost flows like it's poetry. It's so good so far it's so so good um and it follows the life of two sisters camino and yahira and yahira and camino lose their father in a plane crash this is how the book opens and they lose their dad in a plane crash one of the sisters knows about the other the other doesn't know about the other sister one is in puerto rico and one is in um new york and it essentially follows the life of what happens what unravels between the sisters and them finding out about one another after their father's passing that's all i know that's all i'm gonna give you i haven't read that far in but we're just doing slight synopsis like i said i really like the whole sisters i like i like stories and books that follow the life of sisters i i, I really like those I'm, I'm i gravitate towards those quite a bit the next book is the book that i am reading for my book club and my book club is brown skin reads it's a virtual online book club we are reading this right now i have not started i need to start sometime this week because hello um this is the girl with the louding voice by obi dare also another cover that i absolutely love because it's very african it's very colorful it's very diverse i really like that and this follows the life of aduni the, the book starts with her mother passing and her mother giving her and leaving her the message that what she needs to strive for in her life is an education of course things happen in the book of which um make this a little bit difficult for aduni but she feels like having an education is will be giving her life a voice and having a, a louding voice basically something along those lines so really looking forward to reading this i haven't started but i'm going to start soon and then the next book i've got here this is jacqueline woodson and this is red at the bone this book follows a 15 year old uh girl who falls pregnant at that age and it follows three generations of the lives that are interconnected with this young woman um so essentially her her parents the 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 young man who impregnated the girl his parents and it just essentially follows their lives and how the pregnancy has affected these generations of people quite interesting also another cover that i absolutely we love her. Um, and then the next book is uh, a thriller <coughs> this is my first copy um of a lisa jewel book um of course she's got a number of books before this one but this is the latest one and this is called an invisible the invisible girl is it the invisible girl or the invisible girl this one is called invisible girl which essentially plain thank you so this book follows the life of sapphire what we do get is a telling from three different perspectives from sapphires from owen and from kate owen is the man who is suspected to have something to do with sapphire's disappearance um so this is what happens in this book and what unravels and we just sort of find out what happened to her but at the same time apparently this book has um there's trigger warnings of sexual assault and rape so if you are not want to read books like that i am warning you now do not pick it up but 
I really want to know because apparently Owen is quite a I really want to know Owen's side because he's apparently quite the recluse and you know they didn't know him so they judged him and when Sapphire went missing in the house opposite Owen's he was the first person that they suspected something along those lines but definitely can't wait to get into that one and then one book that i've wanted for a long time is this one this is my sister the serial killer by oyinkan bright white bright white i hope i said that right uh this one follows the life of two sisters yet again do you see do you see do you see it follows the life of two sisters the older sister is a nurse at a hospital and the younger sister is a young fashionable carefree fashion designer um the trick is with this one is that the younger sister is also very beautiful and uh very easy on the eyes and attracts the attention of a lot of men so what happens is the men that she's been associated with, the ex-boyfriends, seem to disappear or actually die. They die. And um, the fashion designer's sister, the older sister, is the one who constantly has to clean up the younger sister's mess. And I'm talking about in the literal sense clean up the blood and the gore and all of that so actually i'm very very interested to read this one it just sounded like such an interesting very unique story and i can't wait to read this one it is one of my favorite ones that i was looking so forward to reading and i still haven't read yet you know when you've heard such great things about a certain book and you know you're gonna love it you just know you're gonna love it you kind of want to savor it and no i don't want to read it yet no <laughs> but i feel like i just need to get to this book already this is the vanishing half by brit bennett <sighs> this follows again the storyline of two sisters who live in a light in a community of very light-skinned people but one sister uh, when they grow up, one sister goes on to pass as white, so she behaves as a white person. Uh, people think that she's white. That's how fair they are, that she, she marries a white man and all of that. And then the other sister is black, and she marries a dark-skinned man, and they have children. And it follows also the life of their children as well. And... I love the fact that it addresses subjects like colorism, like uh, feminism, also uh, LGB, I can never say it, LGBTIQA+. Um, <laughs> um, it, it, it addresses that as well in the book. So many, many interesting um, social topics that are quite widely addressed especially in the life that we are living right now it addresses that in this book how can a book have so many wonderful things and not be a great book so i totally understand if people love this book but i can't wait to get into it so it follows the life of the two sisters their children their husbands so again generational as well really can't wait and then the last book that i have 20 minutes my goodness the last book that i have to show you is such a fun age by kylie reed now this is a young adult contemporary literary novel now i don't typically read young adult novels i don't at all um but i am really really keen on reading this one because this one again tackles subjects like racism tackles subjects like um feminism it tackles subjects of social justice social injustices all of that i'm i'm really keen i'm really really keen um so this is follows the life of amira i think amira amira yeah amira who is accused at a supermarket of having kidnapped a baby a toddler that she's actually um nannying for so yeah so a white woman sees her in a supermarket in a very affluent part of town and sees her a black girl w with a white kid and automatically assumes that 
this kid has been kidnapped. What do you mean? I, I don't. I'm, I really, I'm really, really keen to know what happens in this book. I'm really, really excited because you can already tell with this book that there's a lot of power dynamics that happen here. And I'm really, really keen on it. Especially, I like, I really like how young adultish the cover of the book is as well but i'm really looking forward to reading this book so so excited and that is the last of the books i absolutely am so excited to read these books all of them <laughs> but i'm not going to be buying any more books there's just two books that i want and then i'm not buying books for the rest of the year the two books that i want is mexican gothic by Sylvia Moreno Garcia and then the, the second book is something else hood feminism but aside from that I ain't gonna buy no more books I promise all you'll be getting is just wrap-ups of the books these books as I read them whether in a vlog or whether in a sit-down video like this one we'll see how it goes but I hope you enjoyed the video I hope I gave a thorough enough synopsis for you to be even mildly interested in checking out one of the books definitely check them out first i normally check them out first before i buy them so i already know that some of these are going to be exceptional reads and i'm not so sure about the others but we'll see how it goes i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will see you in the next one Mwah. bye